digital disruption has been changing how traditional banking services, payments, and remittances are now offered in the digital economy, as almost all sectors of financial services have been reimagined by non-traditional providers and fintechs. While the traditional incumbent providers are reinventing themselves very quickly to understand better. Tunde Ogungba, the CEO of Global Accelerax, who spoke on the digital payment, prospect and challenges of a financially inclusive Nigeria at Nigeria Information Technology Report Association's third quarterly forum in Lagos, said that digital payment will help manage money more effectively with new ways to save, make payments, assess credit, or obtain insurance. According to him, people will spend less time taking care of simple financial transactions, more on productive work, or running a small business of their own. Adding that digital financial services increases consumer activity and trade, he added that broadening access to digital finance tools could increase Nigerians and other developing countries' gross domestic product by an estimated $3.7 trillion. A lot of people doing things, great things in Nigeria, are those market women, those small traders. They have access. But what type of access are we talking about? Access that is useful and affordable for financial products and services, which has been an elitist thing. And it meets their needs because access may be present, but it may not meet the need. And we'll talk about some of those needs. And it's not just present and it meets their needs, but it is delivered, not in Lagos, but maybe in that local government that nobody in this room has been to. Osno Kerry, chairman of the Computer Warehouse Group, who spoke on the topic, the fintech challenge and the new face of banking, revealed that security is still the biggest challenge confronting the blockchain technology, stressing that once someone is given access to a network, many a times, more often than not, they end up very easily getting black access to that network. He said that much concern is therefore needed from the regulators so that companies can define their access to data, noting that fintechs are getting a lot of support from regulators, believing that fintech firms are small enough for any problems to be manageable, and on the other hand, might produce useful innovation. If digital is preferred, then of course, fintechs become the new banks. And then of course, the regulator becomes the communications commission. If traditional is preferred, then we have the same of what we have, and the regulator remains the central bank. Our business that is small but plenty, bottom of the pyramid we call it, maybe we are more suited to fintech. If that's the way to go, let's make it that way and then start accelerating. You know, instead of the lacuna in which, in which we are. The Executive Secretary and Session of Licensed Telecommunications Operators of Nigeria, Alton, Mr. Bolaham Awonuga, said that telecoms operators were already seeking licenses for mobile payment services. He said that to fit into the mobile money platform, the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, graciously agreed that the operators should get the super region license from the Central Bank of Nigeria. According to him, the telecommunications companies have to operate on subsidiary names, which are not the telecommunications companies' names. Nigeria is very, very lacking behind in terms of mobile money, especially in the rural community. And how can this thing get to them? So we decided that, okay, telcos are everywhere. Let's move to them. Let's go to them. Let them enjoy what they are enjoying also in the urban centers. The farmers, the peasants, the firewood sellers, let's go and meet them. Let be an agent to the bank and do the thing. Just recently, Globacom had just launched their own uh, uh, mobile agent uh, network. And I think other operators will follow suit. We've not done it because of some regulatory issues between the central bank and the NCC. But I think we've taken care of that now. And all members, our members are now going for the license and very soon we will all start to enjoy the, the benefit of this e-payment. In his welcome address, the chairman of NITRA, Mr. Emmanuel Okonji, disclosed that customers' taste and lifestyles are fast changing with technology evolution in such a manner that customers are seeking better technology solutions that will enable them to carry out financial transactions from their mobile devices. Thanks must collaborate with the financial technology which is the fintech players although there are some concerns that the technology solutions offered by fintech players are very very disruptive in nature 
But such disruptions are needed to change the old system of financial transactions to the new, better system that would help Nigeria achieve an all-inclusive financial payment system. It therefore called on financial services providers to collaborate with financial technology company players, adding that risks associated could be tamed through such partnerships. Thank you.